Yes. And high school is going to have a lot more freedom. It's just going to be a different experience, and I just want to have the experience of all the different classes. And Yeah, for the most part. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Like, just having a little bit more freedom. There was more freedom, like a lot of people others said. A lot of other people said, and, I don't know, just a lot more time. As they began to get more freedom, as they began to get more freedom in, um, High school. I think that they take advantage of that. Yes, I do. I've also been taking advanced classes, which will help me in high school as well, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yes, but maybe the freshmen weren't really informed as much as they could have been, I guess, at the very beginning. When we came into high school, a lot of changes were going with the block schedule and stuff, and I think they should have figured a lot more of it out. Well, we didn't really know how the lettering for was going to work and just how the class expectations and how block scheduling, if you missed a day, did you get two days to make homework up, that kind of thing. A lot of it is the responsibility of making sure they do the work. So many eighth graders come in thinking they really don't have to do work. Homework for them is secondary. Why do I have to do this? And they don't really understand how much more work there is at the high school level. Um, I think that they lack in some study skills. I think that they need to um, learn how to keep a binder organized. I think that they need to learn how to take notes properly and how to keep up with their homework and do their homework. The incoming freshmen don't really seem to be prepared study skill wise. And that doesn't mean that the middle school teachers are doing a poor job. That just means that the expectations at the high school are quite different than they are in middle school. And the students don't have good study habits uh, already ingrained in them. Um, research shows that the grades that students get as a freshman will be pretty much the same grades they get throughout their entire high school career. And um, I, I think that the freshman year is extremely crucial in terms of uh, preparing kids for the rest of their high school career as well as beyond. For the most part, um, but Mr. Frazier was one of the biggest like, helping hands for me as far as that because I did well on my English part of my ACT but I didn't do very great on the rest. Um, and I think that our school makes college and the ACT like something to be afraid of, and if you don't go to it, and if you don't do well on it, then you won't succeed? Um, the first time, not really, because it just didn't really seem like we learned a lot, and especially in my math class, we didn't do anything like that really prepped, prepped us for it, but then the first one got canceled, so that was not good, and then everybody, like, the second time kind of redid all their prepping, and it was during the summer, so we all did it on our own, and I felt like I was more prepared then. It was uh, strenuous. There were a lot of days where I felt overwhelmed and I decided to go to Netflix for my backup. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was stressful. It's, it's all a very stressful process as your senior year because everyone says your senior year is the best year, but I honestly think it's the most stressful year because you do have to apply for scholarships for college, for a bunch of other stuff. So. Um, I thought it, it's still, yeah, it's still stressful. I mean, we have like a few more days left of school and I'm still stressed out about college stuff. It was a bit hectic. I wasn't really prepared at all. I wasn't sure how it all worked. But in the end, everybody else was going through the same things that I was. That's a pretty hard question. College is a big change. It's hard to say because I haven't been in college yet. There's a lot that I don't know say that for sure. They don't have the study skills or the, or the organization um, in order to be on their own in a college setting. That's kind of a tough question to answer because every student's needs are different as far as I see it. Um, 
And in terms of what I teach, in terms of what I do, uh, I try to give them as broad a base as possible to prepare them for college. Um, and not only that, but every college is going to be different. So the requirements are going to be uh, different for every situation. I think that uh, in terms of the state standards, though, I think our school does prepare students for college. But then on the other hand, I'm not sure there's anything that could prepare you.